What is up, beautiful people? It's Anna on It's an Amazing Life We Live, a motivational podcast aimed at helping you live your best amazing life. Coming at you on Tuesdays from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. And make sure you're listening that it is Central Time. Make sure you're following at the right time. I am here on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, YouTube. All you got to do is follow pop radio worldwide all right so hello to youtube what's up we're live and i have some really um awesome guests today i have somebody that I've, i'm excited to have here and as you can see if you're watching live on youtube that they are there's some pretty ladies in the building today <laughs> and they matching and everything look at them looking like candy Looking like candy. So today, um, I'm going to have Miss Crystal Gaylord. She is the athlete and entrepreneur. So say hello to the people of the world listening to Pop Radio Worldwide. Hi, everybody. How you doing? All right. And then to her left is actually one of her clients, Kiana Wells. Say hello. What's up, y'all? What is up? Very happy to have you guys here. Thank you for being here. Um, a little bit about me, if you guys are just tuning in, you don't know what this is all about, I am your host, Anna Marie Tavo. Um, most of you guys know me as a pro bikini competitor for the INBA PNBA, which is the Pro uh, Professional Natural Bodybuilding Association. I'm also a model, motivational speaker, and posing coach for all you future bikini competitors. Hit me up. Um, and make sure you're following me on Instagram at It's An Amazing Life We Live. So on this podcast, like I said, it is a motivational podcast aimed at helping you live your best amazing life. Here I feature health and wellness tips, and I like to feature people with inspiring stories to help you guys live your best amazing life. Like not, not just everyday people, but people that you can relate to, people that have started their own businesses. I love to see people that are in the, that are just hungry, hungry in life and just go-getters. And this is what Crystal Gaylord is about. We're going to be talking about some topics today. And what I wanted to start off the show with um, is a quote that I'm constantly hearing because I'm always listening to motivational podcasts myself and motivational speakers. And we're going to be talking about entrepreneur. Uh, we're going to be talking about mentorism. Okay. So the quote of the day is, "You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with." Have you guys heard that quote before? I haven't heard you that. Haven't. Mm -hmm. That was. It's actually from a motivational speaker named Jim Rowan. And again, it's, "You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with." Now, I find a lot of truth to that because me being me and doing all the things that I've done and being successful in, in that, I've had to have a team of people around me. You can't do anything alone. That's something that my coach has always taught me. Um, in your life, look around the people that you constantly are surrounding yourself with. And if you want to live a happy and successful life, the people around you matter. Why do they matter? It's because if you surround yourself with uh, the wrong types of people, you're going to be doing the wrong types of habits. The people you surround yourself influence your behavior, your attitude, and your results. So you can't expect to live a positive life and be around negative people. No, so right. no. So no. do you have anything to? Uh, do you agree with that? Like, what do you? What do you have to say about that, Miss Crystal? I, I totally agree with that. Just um, I know the team that is around me is. You know, my family is actually mm -hmm. a big motivator for me. My mom and my dad have always supported me, even though they left me and moved to Florida. But oh, other no. than that, uh, <laughs> even from uh, states away, they, they have always been my biggest support system, always encouraged me to follow whatever dream that may be. Um, I've done a couple different things in my life. Okay, <laughs> and, well, uh, why, don't we, why don't you start telling me about that? Okay, well, tell, tell us about yourself. Um, I currently have my fitness program, Give Them Hell Fitness. Um, Give Them Hell Fitness, y'all. <laughs> Give Them Hell. <laughs> so um, I, I love what I do now. Okay. okay. Um, I, I've been in the fitness industry about four years now. Um, I was in management for a couple different clubs. I won't, I won't say the names, but um, mm -hmm. how negative the environments were helped push me into trying to find something that I love again. And I grew up as an athlete. 
I, okay. I ran track. I did boxing. Like I, I lifted with the guys. I was always in the weight room with the guys, and I forgot about that love. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I originally got into fitness because I loved it, and I forgot about that passion. I forgot about that love, and after my divorce and. You know, just experiencing such a toxic work environment, it kind of pushed me back into uh, some. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, it's it's amazing what the environment can do for your well-being and for mm-hmm. your own success rate. I know for me personally, when I was in college, you know, sometimes right. I was hanging, or even in high school, I mean, I was always a good kid, but sometimes if you're hanging around the wrong people, and I mean, my mom would always, I always, man... <laughs> I love you, Mom, and I hate to say when you're right, but you're you're almost always right. I know when I was a kid, she, you know, she would always, you know, if I would bring certain friends around, she, you know, she's the mirror that I didn't want to see sometimes, you know. Your moms, your pops, if you have, you know, a good... People that really care about you, my mom would always be like, you know what, I don't I don't like that person for you, whether it be a boyfriend, a friend, like, oh, it's a bad influence. You know, when you're a shorty, you're just you're like, to you're not trying to hear it, you're trying to do what's cool, you want to party with your friends, you want to wear all the cool stuff, or whatever. But um, when it comes down to it, your environment really does matter. Do you have anything to say about that, Miss Kiana? Um, absolutely, speaking from experience, um, I just graduated nursing school. Okay. Um, (laughs) See you. I wasn't there for the first time. I went through nursing school before. Okay. And fell out a quarter before I was going to graduate. Oh, wow. Um, I was trying to be too much to too many people. Okay. And overextending myself and not giving enough to Kiana, not surrounded myself with positive people or people that were trying to accomplish anything. Mm -hmm. So second time around, um, it was no holes bars. Anyone that needed to be cut off was. Anybody that deserved to be included was. Mm-hmm. And ultimately, that was the determining factor in my success. Yes. I love that. So we're going to be talking more about that when we get back. And I want to get more into Give Him Hell Fitness. I want to tell more about that, about this really cool swag you guys got on. I see that you guys are matching here, so that's that's really dope. I, I want to hear about all the stuff that's going on, especially with Miss Crystal Gaylord and her business. She is the athlete and entrepreneur this week. So make sure you're tuning in again to It's an Amazing Life. We live on Tuesday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Make sure you're following Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, and YouTube, and we will be right back. Hey, pull up, lamb. Is that you, Ish? I saw the brick up, but they got I prayed I took, I say, look over my haters. My Mexican ain't got no papers. If he end up caught, there's no seeing them later. Beat that shit, I like the baby. I don't feel that shit, I might throw a tomato. I might go spend a little paper. I might go spend me a whole second rodeo. I'm back. It's Anna on It's an Amazing Life We Live. The pun is intended because it is an amazing life we live. And I'm here to help you live your best amazing life. I have some guests to my left, some pretty ladies to help me with the show and help get you inspired, help you live the life that you want to live and just to wake up every day loving it. So today we have Miss Crystal Gaylord. If you're just tuning in, she is my athlete and entrepreneur. And then to her left is one of her clients, Kiana Williams. So we were talking about like the people that you surround yourself with and how they really influence you. The environment. I, I like to think of everyone in the world as like a flower, right? And every flower is different. And everybody grows differently and you got to feed it the right things and when you got to put not right amount of sunlight but everybody requires something different that also depends on your goals everything of that matter so the people around you really do matter and I want to just kind of recap what I said in the last segment of the quote that I said from Jim Rowan one of my favorite favorite motivational speakers he said that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with and that really got me thinking. I, I've i heard that several times before. I'm constantly listening to motivational um, podcasts to keep me going because mentors also need their mentors. You know, coaches need their own coaches. Right? Is yeah, that true? I mean, true. yeah, right? So 
I got to thinking like, man, the amount of people that I've surrounded myself with around my lifetime, and as you know, some people are seasonal, some people are lifetime, some people come, some people go. And what I found is that when you truly are starting to go for your goals, you really kind of have to weed out <laughs> the noise, <laughs> you know, because some people, you got to weed out the weeds. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Weed a garden, right? right? Yeah. You got to weed out the weeds in order for you to grow Absolutely. and flourish. So, um, Miss Crystal, you were telling me about, uh, you know, back, you know, backstage, we were talking about the business that you started because I actually met Crystal maybe last year um, yeah. at uh, one of the, the gym that I train at and I noticed that she was somebody special and I haven't seen her around lately but I have seen her on social media and she's been killing the game lately <laughs> yeah, she has a, um, a a business called give them hell fitness now yeah. tell us a little bit more about that when did you start that and how's it going for you um, so it's going really well, which I'm excited about. Um, I was in the works of starting this for a while. Okay. Um, I actually just officially started it in October. Um, I just wanted to make sure I was well prepared and that I had my program all together because um, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> so I want and Nothing I like wrong with that. I take other people's goals really seriously. So before I stepped into it, I wanted to make sure I was knowledgeable and that I could actually help people in doing so. Um, and now. I have about 40 clients. Wow. Um, every single one of them have gotten results in their own way. And that just makes me really excited. Like when the ladies come and they tell me their stories and they all have their own individual stories. This one here made me cry last Aww. week, which I don't appreciate because I'm not crying. <laughs> but you know, they all have their own stories. And it's just, it just lets me know that this is what I'm supposed to. Okay. Well, tell me about your story. Like what made, what inspired you to start your own business instead of working for someone else and working for another gym? Well... Yeah, so I got into the fitness industry about four years ago, okay. and it was originally because I did have a love for fitness once upon a time. I ran track, I did boxing, like, um, it was just a part of my life, and it was a part of my life I thought I kind of forgot about and put on the back burner. So I, I got into the fitness industry, I was in management. Um, a part of the reason why I started my own business, to be honest, it was one of the most toxic work environments I've ever been in. Okay. Um, and I decided then on I'm not working for anyone else. I want to help people and I want to help myself because one thing people talk about fitness and health all the time but they forget about mental health yes okay and you spend most people spend more time at work than they do at home and if that's a toxic toxic workplace you carry that with you you carry that in your spirit I couldn't see my kids like no it was enough yes you're a yeah. mom of three correct yes Mama three. Woo! Hot mama. Hot mama. This is what yes. happens when you live the fitness life. Yes. Okay? Right. You're a hot mama. So how do you balance being a mother of three and starting your own business? Like, how do you how do you do that? Because, I, I mean, I, I was just telling you, I was joking around. I only got two cats, and I don't know how I, I do it. <laughs> you got actual human beings yes. you care for. So how does that, you know, how do you balance all of that? Um, you know? It gets hard. It gets hard. I think moms carry a lot of guilt with them when it comes mm -hmm. to certain things. Um, even if you try to go out and build your own thing and do your own thing and make money right to provide for them, then everybody has something to say. Right? You should be at home with your children. But when you are at home with your children, then let's say being at home with them makes you broke. Everybody wants to say, hey, you're not, now doing, you're not doing enough. Yeah. You're lazy and you're this. Yeah. So I was really just drowning out the noise and to be honest, my ex-husband splitting the week with me, mm -hmm. um, him stepping up to support in that way means a lot. That's so good. Um, good. it has helped me. So the three days they're with me, I shorten up my days a little bit. But when they're not with me, it is 12 to 14 hour days. It's just a nonstop grind. Wow. So where, uh, what kind of uh, services do you provide in your business? Give them how fitness. <laughs> so I have semi-private sessions, which is typically three to four people. And then I have private sessions, but I also have hit classes every Saturday at one o'clock. Um, and what are what are hit classes for the people that are not in the so, fitness industry? What what exactly is that? I know what that is. But. <laughs> it's a high intensity interval training. Um, it's just nonstop, constant movement and strength training for about forty five minutes. Uh, Key actually just took her first hit class. How is that for your hell? <laughs> Hey, Chris, give them hell is no joke. But, so she does give you hell. 
I'm sure you get a little taste of heaven, though. <laughs> you know. You do. She does it gracefully. Okay. <laughs> so, um, what makes your classes different from others? Um, I'll just say all my clients are like my homies. Like, I, I really build a friendship with them and, and we talk about things during the session. That doesn't mean that makes the session any easier. No, oh, yeah. it's a hard session, but we're going to talk through it. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're going to talk through it. And honestly, I make my clients' goals mine. It's very important to me. Like, it's a personal thing to me to make sure that they achieve whatever goal they're trying to achieve. Wow. Wow, that's, that's, really, that's really something special when, because um, there's a lot of personal trainers out there and a lot of coaches, and unfortunately a lot of people, I mean, I know at the end of the day, everybody has to make their bread, everybody yeah. has to make their money, but when that's the only priority, then sometimes the clients are the ones suffering because they're not getting the results, mm -hmm. they're not feeling that connection. How do you keep that connection with I mean, you have 40 clients. 40. <laughs> well, How do you do that? Um, I occasionally keep up with text messages, and mm -hmm. they, they can text me. They may not get a response like right away, but it's coming, okay? <laughs> so, um, honestly, it's a nonstop thing. Like, even when I'm off work, I'm not off work, right? Yeah. I'm up all night when the kids go to bed. That's my time oh. to grind. <laughs> like, yeah. I just want to make sure we, we keep that connection because... Being a mom and having been divorced and experienced a lot of life in my 32 years, I understand the dark places people can be in. And it, may, it just makes me feel better about life to know that I can help them out of that place. And that, that already brings me back to the topic that we were talking about is that, you know, the people around you matter. Yeah. And obviously, with all that she has going on, the support that she's been getting, um, and even just from the from our clients alone, I'm sure that's what keeps you going. Yeah. So we, we're going to have to take a little break, but we're going to be talking. I want to talk to actually one of her clients over here, the beautiful lady to Crystal's left, and her name is Kiana Wells. When we get back, we're going to be talking about her experience with Give Em Hell Fitness. <laughs> Okay, so make sure that you're following Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, YouTube, and we will be right back. I get them packs in the meal. Everything I do become a wheel. This shit here can't fit on the scale. This dope I can tell by the smell. This ice that I rock, this shit water. My go spend a brick on your daughter. I tell them, get you, that's an order. Yeah. Most of these niggas ain't real. What is up, beautiful people? I'm back. It's Anna on It's an Amazing Life We Live, coming to you on Tuesdays, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. Make sure you're tuning in by following Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, and YouTube. Here I have health and wellness tips, brain training tips, and I love to bring people on, athletes, entrepreneurs, and angels of the week, any non-for-profit organization that wants to promote themselves so that everybody can help. And today we are talking about Give Em Hell Fitness. Give Em Hell Fitness with Miss Crystal Gaylord. And before we went on break, we were talking about how she started her business and the people that are all her clients and how they all support her and what keeps her going being a mom of three. And to my left, we have one of her clients that I wanted to give that wanted to give one of her her testimony that has been working with Miss Crystal and her name is Kiana Wells. So tell tell the world that's listening, everybody tuning in, tell a little bit about yourself and how you got introduced to Give Em Hell Fitness and working with Crystal. Okay, uh, Kiana. I'm a mom of only one. Yeah. My job is a little easier than Crystal's. Um, I was actually introduced to her um, from another trainer that I know a guy. Um, that thought I was too soft to train. So he referred too me soft. to Crystal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We joke about yeah. it all the time at the gym that girls don't train hard. Okay. Um, all right. I might have to have a talk with that. <laughs> go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Sorry. Girls don't train hard. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> so I am in week seven training with Crystal. Okay. Um, and of course, I came on a fitness journey. Um, I picked up more weight than I care to in nursing school. Uh, on top of that, I'm a type 1 diabetic. And for those of you who may know anything about diabetes, my A1C was about 13.5, four months prior to starting with Crystal. Week four into working out with her, um, let me say working with her because it's not just working out. Yeah. Crystal has an app that 
it's keeping you accountable you can have your meal plan you know everything that you're doing day in and day out so she's sure to keep you um, well-rounded and accountable so week four in I had a doctor's appointment and my A1C was actually 7.2 um, so when she told you that I made her cry that's what it was and I was going to text her as soon as I left the doctor's office but I had training that that's day that's wonderful so I decided to wait and tell her she tried to tough it out <laughs> I, did. I, I, caught her, I caught her in the office like patching up her tears um <laughs> And, you know, when you have a health condition, the doctors always tell you, eat right, exercise. Mm -hmm. But what is eating right? What is exercising? So, um, Crystal was a missing piece for me, honestly. I probably never would have gone to the gym and done anything on my own. Um, really? She's easy to commit to. She's very personal. Well, and I told her, um, probably day two of working out, I was like, well, we're friends. So, you're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I love her. I do. She's great. So you took her HIT class, her high intensity interval class, just recently. So you, I did. So how, how was that? Like, how is that different from when you're training like one on one with with Crystal? Uh, it's way different. It's completely okay. different. The atmosphere is different. Um, it requires different kind of energy, a different kind. You tap into a different part of your brain. Mm -hmm. um, so one on one, um, she. Um, it's more like strength training. Mm -hmm. You're doing a lot of weights and a lot of free form weights lifting, I think it's called. Um, and HIIT training, it's literally 45 minutes. So I knew that I wasn't going to do that right away. Okay. So I was about five weeks in before I did a HIIT class and I was going to die. <laughs> no. It felt but really you were good alive. after. <laughs> it felt really good after. And I, you really leave Crystal feeling like, okay, I did something. I was not in there looking cute, like with a cute little bouncy ponytail. You're not doing that at Give Them Health. <laughs> you are working hard, but you are going to get results. So what do you have to tell, like for people that are interested in working with Crystal, like what, what do you have to tell people about your trainer that makes her like so awesome to you, that keeps you going? Because I know um, I mean, being a trainer myself, sometimes people can get discouraged, you know, mm -hmm. week one, week two, week three, still not feeling results, still feel like, man, this is hard. Like, how, how is what she's given to you different? And like, what can you say about your whole experience? Okay. Um, your goals become her goals. So if it's important to you, if you lay it out for her, she's not going to lose sight of that. Wow. She's going to constantly remind you when you're ready to give up. Um, one workout in particular, um, I was lagging behind, and she got beside me. We were doing a crab walk. She got beside me and was moving full speed ahead. So I had no choice but to keep going. I couldn't <laughs> stop. She was right there. And um, even on days off, like I said, I'm diabetic. I was not feeling well at the end of a session. And she texted, like, what are your numbers? How are you feeling? And it's like, oh, we're not even meeting today. Like, she cares. She cares, yeah. Not even in, like, a cheesy, oh, she cares kind of way. Like, <laughs> she does. Wow. Well, guys, if you want to get with it and get with Give Em Hell Fitness, tell them, uh, Crystal, how you can, like, where we can find you, how we can get sessions, where you train. Well, um, I do have a business page on Facebook. It's called Give Em Hell Fitness. Um, and then on Instagram, it's Chris, K-R-Y-S, underscore, E-M, underscore, give, underscore, hell. Um, and you can book your consultation there. The uh, consultation is actually complimentary. So you can book that at any time on Instagram or on Facebook. Um, and, yeah, you can email me at CoachChris at GiveMHealthFitness.com as well. And that's Crystal with a K, right? Yes. With Crystal a K. With a K. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here, Miss Kiana, and telling your testimony. We're going to be talking um, some more about that, but uh, some, some more about how we, how you guys met and worked with e and work with each other, um, Crystal. But real quick, before we get uh, go back on break, um, I wanted to ask you, like, what is the most fulfilling part of doing what you do with your clients, and especially a client like Piana. Well, one, um, I didn't know prior to actually starting my business, right, how meaningful it would be 
when everybody has their stories. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, one key story, which I did try to hide my tear, but she caught me. <laughs> and then, like, okay. um, I've also had, like, I have a client with fibromyalgia um, who she lives in pain every day. Um, even looking at her stairs is hard for her. She's like, I don't even want to go up them. She's mm -hmm. going up and down them like it's nothing now. Wow. Or, like, um, that's exciting to me. Or I have another client who, you know, maybe wasn't the most confident. Okay, but now she's beaming, right? and that's just that's so beautiful. exciting to see. I did not know I would get that feeling until it happened, and it really just showed me this is what I'm supposed to do. But on top of that, going home, and my daughter is excited and very proud of me. Like the, oh. the constant like affirmations from my daughter and my son, constantly telling me how proud they are of me, or bragging to their friends about me. It's like you bragging about me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I that. <laughs> so, like, oh, Mama. Yes. That, that just, that's, oh my God, it's such a good feeling. And it just shows me I'm, I'm right where I need to be. That's what's up. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Um, we're going to be talking more about um, the topic of the day, and that's who you're surrounding yourself with. And I'm going to give you tips on how to find those mentors and those coaches. So make sure you're tuning in at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central time. It's an amazing life we live and we'll be right back guys. Yeah, yeah. Even they change they bogus. Niggas never did no drill, yeah. Niggas even got fake rollies. You ain't never been in no wall. You ain't never shot through a car door. You don't know that struggle for real. You ain't never get it out that mud. I just might die What's up beautiful people? We are back. I know you missed us. It's Anna on It's an Amazing Life We Live on this wonderful Tuesday evening, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Follow Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, and YouTube. And what's up, YouTube Live? We stream you live. Say hello, ladies. Hi. What's going on? Aren't they cute? You know, no, really cute, cute together. <laughs> okay, this Whatever. is what it's like to live the fitness life. And today, um, we, we, uh, we've been talking about the community you surround yourself with, and Crystal Gaylord is my entrepreneur and athlete of the week, and she started her business just recently, right? Yes, just recently. I did. You said in October. Congratulations, <laughs> Miss Entrepreneur. <laughs> and you said you have 40 clients already. Yes, ma'am. Now, did it Juke, start off Juke, that way? Juke. Oh, no, I was poor. Okay. The first, <laughs> month, the first month I was poor, and I was like, like second guessing everything because it's just me right mm -hmm. there's no there's no hubby to rely uh, like those bills don't get paid they don't get paid mm -hmm. and at first ooh, maybe a month or two yeah i was just like oh god it's what hard do do? it's <laughs> hard you know you got to give props but, to people that start their own business from the ground up yeah, it's yeah. hard i was driving uber like i was doing everything i could doing hair like because yeah. i used to do hair and like doing hair driving uber like but then go train and um, but now I don't have to do any of that. <laughs> so how many clients did you start off with first when you first started your business? Two. Two. Wow. Two. And it grew to 40. Yes, ma'am. Girl. And look, yeah. and she got some swag on. Tell them about this swag you got going on. Okay. So, um, now that the, the fitness part is pretty much down pat, um, okay. I'm going to be starting to give them health fitness, uh, clothing line. So it's just for, um. It's a fitness clothing line, and so we have on the shirts today, and I actually brought you one too, Anna. Okay. And so Thank they're, they're so sweat much. resistant, odor resistant, it's actually really good material. I'm going to work so out in it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tag you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. That's um, I'll be having crop top hoodies coming out, and just uh, the workout yoga pants, and so it's all coming. Um, that's just a sample, yes. so there'll be quotes on the back. I'm kind of corny, yeah. right? I know you mentioned the <laughs> motivational stuff. Yes. I watch, like, the motivational podcast, yep. and, like, it's on my radio. Key does the yes. same thing. And so there are, like, quotes, right, all around my bedroom. And so there'll be different quotes on, on the back of the shirts as that's well. That's awesome. That's awesome. And these are, did this already drop, or it's going gonna, it's gonna to be coming um, out soon? Uh, these are samples. It'll be coming out in the next week or two. Next week or two. And we'll be finding that on your? On my webpage, which will page. also be launched in the next week or two. Give them health fitness. Um, okay. I'll be posting it on social media as well. Okay. So getting back to um, your, you being an entrepreneur and you mm -hmm. starting your business, like what was, what do you say would be like the, like the number one adversity, adversity you faced when you first started? Like what, when you, like when you felt like quitting, you know? Honestly, it's getting over other people's opinions of what you're doing. 
Okay. Honestly, um, I was in management, right? And okay. I, and I could have moved up. I, I could have got a bigger club. I could have done any of that. I was actually one of the top GMs in the company. But, you know, people looked at me crazy when I was walking away from a, a very good salary mm-hmm. to be poor for a month or two. Um, <laughs> but honestly, other people's opinions didn't matter to me. I know. That's good. I knew I had something special. Um, I knew that this was going to be something special. And then I'm, I was going to build something to leave for my children. And uh, something that they could be proud of, and that was the motivation. So you could say what you want, but ha, I got forty. Yeah, she got forty. She got a clothing line coming up. She yeah. has her head classes. She's had it all going on, and um, she even has the support of her client coming here today. That I'm, I'm very happy um, to have you guys both on here. Um, and it just goes to show, guys. I was talking about. Um, the people that you surround yourself with. And Crystal Gaylord, I mean, she started off with two people. Two people, and she made a community. A community of people that is radiating positive energy. I mean, I've been, if when, once you follow her on Instagram and look at her business page, you'll see all the, you have, you have a lot of client testimonies, actually, um, on there. And it's very inspiring. Um, but if you, uh, do you have any tips for people that are, um, thinking about starting their own business and in the same spot that you are, like they're in a toxic work environment and they maybe want to leave, but they're scared to take that risk. Like what are some tips or words of encouragement for people that are in this situation that you were in before, before October hit and you made your own you know, fitness? <laughs> Find your passion, right? You can't just jump into anything because you don't want to work for someone else because if it's not your passion and that doesn't radiate and show through, you know, in your day-to-day actions and your words it might not be as successful um it's really just finding whatever that passion may be and forget what everybody else has to say because to be honest there are workers and there's not workers and there's a reason for that and that's not negative right everybody's not meant to be an entrepreneur but if you want to be one stick through it there are going to be hard times you are going to be broke sometimes you yes. are going to be tired sometimes <laughs> oh yeah it's a non-stop grind but the way i thought about it right i've worked almost 20 consecutive days with 16 hour shifts mixed in there for someone else Ooh. why can't i do the same for myself you're right you're investing in yourself mm-hmm. and investing just put in your, men- your mental state first right uh, especially us as colored people right we always are told that it's okay just work just work just work you're fine just work pray on it just work pray on it work pray on it. like okay i can pray all day long and i need to be happy yes. you need to be happy and find your happy place and stay in that place and get rid of anybody else that doesn't contribute to that happy because honestly i'm way more happy now that i am single well Singlish, um, and, and, and not married compared to being married. Um, not to bash him in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. That just wasn't the right person, so it made it a toxic environment. Since you're aligning yourself with what really makes you happy, yes. and even though you took a big risk, like you said, you know, coming out from a good salary, a really good job, a nice title, yeah. and you're risking it all for a dream that maybe not everybody else can see. I'm sure you said that people thought you were crazy. Yeah. But um, again, that brings me back to the people that you surround yourself with, guys. Um, again, my quote of the day from Jim Rowan is, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So really, I really want you guys to listen and take action and really ask yourself, who am I surrounding myself with? What kind of behaviors am I adopting or adapting in my life from these people? Um, if you want to live a more positive life, you can't be around negative people all the time. Mm-hmm. So, and that also goes with, and I know some people, you may not have the resources, right? You may not have the resources. Not everybody has a coach. Not everybody has, not everybody is blessed with great friends or they're, they're maybe in a bad, you live in a bad neighborhood. You maybe just, you're not surrounded by people that will hold you accountable and give you a higher standard in life. So what I say to that is you need to use, you know, the resources you have as far as the internet, as far as reading, podcasts like this, because the people that you spend the most time with, it also has to do with learning. So if you're listening to audio tapes, 
books, um, reading. Um, you're actively spending time with those teachers as well. Yeah. So those are those are the teachers that are in your head. I mean, for me personally, okay, Eric Thomas, Tony Robbins, oh, man, Les yeah. Brown, they don't know me, but they are my coaches, oh, yes, okay? They are. Yeah. they are my coaches. They are in my head every single day, okay? Every single day. So just to let you guys know, you know, can I interrupt you for a moment? Go ahead. Go ahead, okay. girl. Even if you feel like you may not have the resources or the group to surround you, um, after becoming single again, um, I felt alone as I don't know why. You know, you got to turn to yourself sometimes. You are that support system. You are enough. Like, just make it happen. However you have to make it happen, just make it happen. Don't stay in that one spot and stay stuck. Figure it out. You got to figure it out. Well, guys, we will be right back, and um, I'm, I'm just so excited to have you guys here. Thank you for the shirt, by the way. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm really, I'm going to wear this tomorrow. Ah! So we'll be right back, guys. Make sure you're following Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio. We're everywhere on Spotify Premium and YouTube, and we'll be talking to these beautiful ladies and closing it out later. This rally, I got a glow with no host. Sending me kissy emoji That pussy don't got it no order I might just hit in the rave I put my kids on her face I put that bitch in her place She just won't leave me alone for real, yeah what is up, beautiful people? We are back, and it's Anna on It's an Amazing Life. We live a motivational podcast aimed at helping you live your best amazing life. Health and wellness tips. I have athletes, entrepreneurs, and angels of the week. Thank you so much to Miss Crystal and Kiana. Miss Crystal Gaylord here is my entrepreneur and athlete of the week. Amazing soul, amazing wow. human being. <laughs> and thank you again. So... She gave me this really dope shirt, y'all. I don't know if you can see it. Let me put it up here. Hey. Give them hell. Yes. Give them hell fitness. Yes. See right here? Give them hell. <laughs> it's so pretty. And it says give them hell. Yeah, that's, so, part, that's kind of why. Yeah, just, what's the top part? Oh, that's my initial. So that's K and G. K and G. Um, K and G. Okay. Yeah. And so okay, um, cool. it's a K and a G. And I came up with the name Give Them Hell Fitness. Um, it's kind of. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. It's kind of ironic. Okay. Bit, Tell us about that. Because, um. Most most men do think women train soft, right? Um, it's been happening since I was a kid. And um, I was always lifting with the guys, and honestly, I can outlift most of them in high school. Um, Damn right. So, you know, when I was down in the dungeon with the guys, right, yeah. they were always saying, all right, Chris, Chris, give them hell. All right, Chris, give them hell. Like, because they were shocked at what I could do. I was small. I've always been small. But well, I've seen her at the gym. She can, she can push them serious <laughs> way. So I get, I, I, I assumed it was something like give him hell, but I was yeah. just like, where'd she come up that name? Yes, but no, that's to say that I live heavy, I'm not going to make y'all live heavy, but we are going to work. But that that's just where the name came from, it's nothing, nothing soft over here. Well, guys, she's just, you know, she's been, you guys have both been amazing. Thank you for telling your testimony, Kiana. And Crystal Gaylor, do you have any shout outs that you want to give out to um, anyone Today. Well, um, with the clothing line coming out, I do want to shout out to Tenacious T. They, they've okay. been helping me with the design of everything, and I really appreciate it. I love the work that they've done so far. Um, also, I want to shout out my gym, The Dungeon. That's where I run my program at, and I want to Dungeon. thank Jimmy Hawthorne, who um, was the homie. He was my boxing coach, and he invited me over, and it's been one of the best opportunities I've ever had in my life. Um, and also I want to shout out Tim Jackson, who's been a huge support along the way and keeping me positive and focused when I'm freaking out. Um, Would and you say that's one of your mentors? Um, he has definitely helped me along the way. And I want to shout out Kevon Mendez. Okay, because, Kevon. <laughs> I know um, you. What's up, Kevon? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was one of the first that told me I could do it. And even when I wanted to step down and directors were like, no, you're not going to make any money. And he was the first, like, ignore them. You got it. And he was right. And I appreciate it. Hey, you need people around that in your life. You yeah. know, sometimes here's here's something that I want to mention, guys. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to surrounding yourself with the right people. I remember, so I've always been a big dreamer, right? And I would always, when I would tell people my dreams, I'd always start off by saying, I know this sounds crazy, but you know, I know this sounds crazy, but, and then some people really would be like, yeah, that, that, that's crazy, Anna, that's crazy. But I noticed that 
when you really start working for your dreams and investing in yourself and surrounding yourself with the people that that hold you to a higher standard, right. that hold you accountable, mm -hmm. and the people that do what you want to be doing, it it forces you to live at the level that they're living at. Yep. You know, because yep. they're they're not just going to give you handouts, and they're going to be real with you. They're going to be positive, but they're going to be real with you. Like you know, I, I have a coach, and he'll tell me when I'm effing up. You know, he's like Anna, you're better than this. You know, so. But what I've noticed is once you become that person, you also attract more people like that. Absolutely. You attract more people that have that same, because that, that energy attracts that energy. And then all of a sudden I started seeing, I started, um, I started noticing that when I said the same, when I would say the same things to certain people, like, I know this sounds crazy, but, mm -hmm. but you know what? My friends now and the people I surround myself with, they say, that's not crazy. And those around. are the perfect people to be around because they do not think it's crazy. And one of my really good friends, I won't mention the name, but it is a special someone. He said he he would tell me, no, it doesn't sound crazy. It's just to the average person, it sounds crazy. Yeah. And I, what I've learned is also sometimes the people who tell you like, oh, that's crazy, right? They're not being negative per se. They're speaking out of their own fears. Yeah, right? Exactly. They're yes. still in there nine to five, which is nothing wrong with it, right? There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but. They're speaking their own fears onto you. Mm -hmm. You can't do that because they think they can't do it. Yeah. So they don't mean it in a negative fashion. They, they call themselves being protective, but that's not the people you need. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it's just, you know, it's it's down to, I mean, especially if you want to be an entrepreneur, just like you, Crystal Gaylord, you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. I'm sure yes. that was that was scary, you know, oh, like was. especially since having kids and everything, that's a risk. Um, mm -hmm. Um, giving up what you already have if you're already making good money and then you just you have a dream that not everybody else can see but okay. you have to believe it for yourself it's your dream um, and then just make sure that if people aren't believing you, you got to tune it out take out the weeds and you know if you don't like you said if you don't have the resources find those resources online I mean the World Wide Web is a big place guys find your mentors I mean find people that are doing what you want to do consume their material, read their books, listen and learn from them. Um, so I just want to close it out with um, a big thank you. A big, big, big thank you to Miss Crystal Gaylord and to Miss um, Kiana for telling your testimony because they're doing some big things. They, they're not just pretty faces over here. Yes. And we got, man, I'm, lo I'm loving this. I cannot wait to wear this. <laughs> Cannot wait. So, um, one more time, tell them where they can find you. And you said that you train at the dungeon? Yeah. I now, where, where exactly is that? It's um, 1110 North 27th Street in Melrose Park. Um, and you can definitely find me. You can email me at Coach Chris, K R Y S, at givemhealthfitness.com. Okay. Um, you can also find me on Facebook, Give Em Health Fitness. And on Instagram, uh, Chris underscore EM underscore give underscore hell. Um, you can book your complimentary consultation at any time. And also, you can just drop in on the Saturday hit class at 1 o'clock. Saturday hit class at 1 o'clock. And is that also at the dungeon? Yeah, that's at the dungeon. At the dungeon. How much is that hit class if you're dropping? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. And trust me, guys, it's sweeter on the side, on the fitness side. I mean, you change mentally, right? Um, yes. Real quick, before we close this out, Kiana, how have you changed? Because obviously you've changed physically. Um, being with uh, Crystal and training with her, how have you changed mentally as a person? Um, I started watching motivation or listening to motivational stuff on YouTube and uh -huh. um, I was listening to something one day as I was walking into training and it kind of helped me through the workout that day and I said halfway through, I was like, you know, I was just listening to something that I wouldn't have done that if I didn't just listen to it mm -hmm. and she didn't think I was crazy, she's like you know, I listen to motivational stuff too. So to just have someone that matches that energy that's also feeding their mind. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been it's been great. That's beautiful. So make sure you're following Crystal, guys. Follow her on Instagram. Make sure that you're booking your sessions with her. You know what? I'm going to drop in your class sometime. You, you said Saturday, Saturday 1 o'clock. Saturday 1 o'clock at the dungeon. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm going to be there, actually. Saturday, why am I doing this? I'm going to be there. Saturday yes. 1 o'clock. 
at the dungeon. We'll be there. And real quick, guys, if you want to be on my show, go ahead and submit your, um, have your submission sent to Anna Tabo, A-N-N-A Tabo, at gmail.com. Again, that's Anna Tabo, A-N-N-A T-A-B-O at gmail.com if you want to be an athlete, entrepreneur, if you have a non-for-profit organization that you want to promote. So thank you again, guys, for listening on It's an Amazing Life We Live on this wonderful Tuesday. I'll see you guys next week from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. If you're in Chicago, stay warm. And everywhere else that you're listening to in the world, thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you guys next week. Hey, I'm Crystal, and I was just on the radio, uh, radio show, It's an Amazing Life We Live, with Anna. Thank you for having me. It was a really good experience. Um, you can follow me, Coach Chris, at Give Them Health Fitness on Facebook. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at Chris, K-R-Y-S, underscore give, underscore E-M, underscore hell, um, on Instagram. Again, thank you, Anna, at An Amazing Life We Live, pun intended. Um, shout out again to Crystal. Chris underscore give underscore em underscore hell on Instagram, um, and I'm born native on Instagram. Thanks.